Hello guys, welcome back to Doc Jilmak Online Tutorial. Doc Jilmak Math TV Basic Trigonometry Tutorial. Are you ready for the next tutorial? So if you're ready guys, let's begin. The topic I will be discussing for today's tutorial is all about simplifying trigonometric expressions. Before discussing the topic for today's tutorial, let's have first a simple warm-up drills. Simplify the following algebraic expressions. Number 1. x plus 3x minus 8x simply equal to negative 4x. Number 2. 3b plus 4b minus 5b. 3 plus 4 is 7 minus 5 is 2. So we have 2b. Number 3. Negative c minus 7c minus 4c. Take note, negative c have a numerical coefficient of negative 1. So we have negative 1 plus negative 7 is negative 8 plus negative 4 is negative 12. Just copy the variable c. So we have negative 12c. Number 4. Negative x squared y plus 10x squared y minus 6x squared y. We can combine negative x squared y and negative 6x squared y since they are both negative. So we have negative 7x squared y plus 10x squared y is simply equal to 3x squared y. Number 5. 4c squared dq minus 8c squared d minus 6c squared d. As you can see, you can only combine negative 8c squared d and negative 6c squared d since they are similar terms. Take note, 4c squared d cubed have no common term. So we have 4c squared d cubed minus 8 minus 6 is negative 14 c squared d. Take note, 4c squared d cubed have no common term, so just copy as it is. Okay? So all you have to combine is negative 8 and negative 6 c squared d. That's why that is just equal to negative 14 c squared d. Number 6, 4f squared times the quantity 3f minus 2f cubed minus 5f to the fifth. Take note, you are to determine a product of a trinomial by a monomial. Just apply distributive property. 4f squared times 3f is 12f cubed minus 4 times 2 is 8 f squared times f cubed is f to the fifth minus 4 times 5 is 20 f squared times f to the fifth is f to the seventh so we have 12 f cubed minus 8 f to the fifth minus 20 f to the seventh number seven quantity 3a minus 4b times quantity 3a plus 4 if not, you are multiplying the sum and difference of two binomials. Which means the product is simply the difference between two squares. So we have 9a squared minus 16b squared. Number 8. 3p to the 5th minus 6p to the 7th minus 9p to the 9 
plus 12p to the 11th divided by 3p to the 4th. Take note, you are dividing the polynomial by a monomial. So apply division operation and also the quotient rule in the lows of exponent. 3p to the 5th divided by 3p to the 4th is simply p. Negative 6p to the 7th divided by 3p to the 4th is simply 2p raised to 3. Since b raised to 7 minus 4 is p raised to 3. Minus 9 divided by 3 is 3. p to the 9 divided by p to the 4th is p to the 5th plus 12 divided by 3 is 4 p to the 11 divided by p to the 4 is p to the 7 so we have p minus 2p cubed minus 3 p to the 5th plus 4 p to the 7 so take note of that take note in simplifying trigonometric expressions, we simply apply the different techniques in simplifying operations of algebraic expressions. Consider the following illustrative examples. Simplify the following trigonometric expressions. 7 sin x minus 4 cosine x plus 3 sin x minus 2 cosine x. So this is just equal to 10 sine x minus 6 cosine x. Combine similar terms and simplify. Number 2, 3 cosine squared x plus 5 cosine x minus 2 plus 2 cosine squared x minus 3 plus 4 cosine x. So we have 5 cosine squared x plus 9 cosine x minus 5. Again, we combine similar terms and then simplify. Subtract 2 tangent x minus sine x plus 4 from 5 tangent x plus 3 sine x minus 3. Take note, the mean when is 5 tangent x plus 3 sine x minus 3. And then the subtrahend is 2 tangent x minus sine x plus 4. It's just equal to 3 tangent x plus 4 sine x minus 7. Again, you just perform subtraction operation and combine similar terms then simplify. Number 4. 3 cosecant squared x times the quantity 5 cosecant x minus 2 cosecant squared x minus 2. Take note, you are multiplying a trinomial by a monomial. You just apply distributive property and also the product rule of the laws of exponents. So we have 3 times 5 is 15. Cosecant squared x times cosecant x is cosecant cubed x. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Cosecant squared x times cosecant squared x is cosecant to the 4th x. Minus 3 times 2 is 6 cosecant squared x. Okay, so take note of that. We just perform multiplication operation and simplify applying the product rule in the laws of exponents. Number 5. 2 tangent x times 1 minus tangent x plus 4 times tangent x plus 2 quantity plus the quantity tangent x minus 3. Okay? So we just perform both multiplication operation and addition operation. Okay, so we have 2 tangent x minus 2 tangent squared x plus 4 times the quantity 
tangent squared x minus tangent x minus 6. Simplifying further, we have 2 tangent squared x minus 2 tangent x minus 24. We just perform multiplication operation, combine similar terms, and simplify. Number 6, 8 cotangent squared x minus 12 cotangent to the fourth x divided by 4 cotangent x. As you can see, you are dividing a binomial by a monomial. So 8 divided by 4 is 2, cotangent squared x divided by cotangent x is cotangent x, minus 12 divided by 4 is 3, cotangent to the fourth x divided by cotangent x is cotangent cube x. We just perform division operation and simplify using the quotient rule in the lows of exponents. Number 7. 10 sine squared x cosine cube x plus 5 sine cube x cosine to the fourth x minus 20 sine to the fifth x cosine to the 7x divided by 5 sine squared x cosine cube x. Again, you are dividing a trinomial by a monomial. So, we divide each term of the trinomial by the divisor. Monomial divisor. Okay? So, 10 divided by 5 is 2. Sine squared x cosine cube x divided by sine squared x cosine cube x is 1. Okay? 5 divided by 5 is 1. Sine cube x over sine squared x is sine x. Cosine to the fourth x divided by cosine cube x is cosine x. Minus 20 divided by 5 is 4. Sine to the fifth x divided by sine squared x is sine cube x. Cosine to the 7x divided by cosine cube x is cosine to the 4x. So again, we just perform division operation and then simplify using the quotient rule in the lows of exponents. So take note of that. Again, I would like to thank you for watching Doc Chilmak Math TV. Stand by for my next tutorial. Stay safe everyone and may God bless us all.